Pokey people! Lovely to see you! So as you know, I have a third box, a Charisma of the Wrecked Sky, and well, it's killing me. I need to know what's inside. Ta-da! Third box. Now, of course, we're not going to do the whole box at once because money! But we are going to open it up and at least do 10 packs, maybe 15. We'll see. We'll see how noisy my neighbors get because <laughs> it sounds like there's a cleaning crew next door and there's been sirens going off. I think there's some sort of emergency nearby, so I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of weird background noise happening today and apologies if that's annoying. All right. Taking the right hand side of the box first because reasons and let's just plop it down here like that. All right, pack number one. I just grabbed all 15 packs. I guess we're doing all 15 packs. <laughs> I mean, I don't really plan these things out because I'm fairly impulsive. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I am. All right, uh, what's your name? Loudred, I think? Whismer, Combuskin, Nuzleaf, and we're starting with a Deoxys Hollow. Not too shabby. Oh, this set has been pretty awesome so far. I'm still hoping to get the full art Rayquaza because that would be amazing, but I think getting Steven would be pretty cool too. And well, any full art or hyper rare Pokemon is pretty awesome. Hyper Ball, Pelipa, Minoon, Volbeat, and Gorbis. Of course, I still need the Jirachi Prism Star, so that's the real thing that we're looking for right now. Like, obviously, there's going to be a super rare somewhere in the box, but what we really, really want is Jirachi, because then I don't have to buy a Jirachi. <laughs> I'll already have him. Um, this Giddy Giddy Potion, Love Disc, uh, Torchic, Tropius, A, and Swampert, right? Yes, I think so. I suddenly forgot the names again. <laughs> Also, let me know what you guys think. Um, I felt like a lot of my videos looked kind of washed out, so I played with the settings on my camera. Of course, things look really good on the camera viewfinder, and then when I get them on my computer, they sometimes don't look as nice. So right now it looks really vivid on my computer, or sorry, on the camera viewfinder, but um, not so... I don't know if it'll look as good on um, the computer. I can't brain right now. My Go Plus was going off, and that distracted me. Oh, shoot, that reminds me. My phone's not on manner mode either. Well then, we're going to have all sorts of fun noises. It is a lazy Sunday morning after all, so my brain is lazy too. Um, blah blah blah. Bagon, Oricorio, and Celestila. There we go. For a second there, when I saw the border, I thought it was going to be a hyper rare or a full art or something, so I was really nervous. Oh... It sounds like they're fighting next door. I think it's just a cleaning crew, but like, they're just slamming stuff around. I hope you guys don't have to hear all that ruckus. Hey, Lucia! But my goodness, maybe they're moving. Maybe it's not just cleaning. <laughs> See, a lot of people, you get this impression that Japan is this very quiet, peaceful place, but no, it's just when people are within their own four walls, they forget that the world outside exists, and they get really noisy. It can be pretty obnoxious sometimes, but I can be a pretty obnoxious neighbor sometimes too. And it is like noon on a Sunday, so I mean, they're allowed to be noisy. It's not like we're trying to sleep or anything. Although I have had some crazy noisy neighbors in the past. Um, I had this one for a while next door that we called Laundry Girl because she liked doing laundry all night. Hey, come boss. No, Blaziken. She liked doing laundry all night, every night, from like midnight until like 4 or 5 in the morning. Every single night. Non-stop. It was crazy. And like, I'm not an expert on washing machine usage. Um, pretty much everyone has a top-loading washing machine here. But judging by how much the thing was rattling around, I don't think she really had a lot in there. She was just doing tiny loads of laundry all night long, midnight to 5 a.m. And her washing machine was just going thunk, 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 thunk all over the place, making a ton of noise. It was fun times. Really fun. No, it wasn't fun. I'm glad she's gone. <laughs> you guys ever had a nightmare neighbor? I think everyone gets at least one once in their lives, but it's different when you have like a house and there's space between you and the neighbors. You're in an apartment, you can't really escape from them. Whoop! <gasps> there he is! Jirachi! Saw the border and got nervous for a second. Oh, perfect! Now we have... Well, my sleeves are sealed. Ugh. Now we have all of the basic cards in the set. Of course, 
as I think I've mentioned before, I don't try to collect all the secret rares and like the above and beyond the set numbers. As, um, I don't know if you see on here, there's 96 cards in this set. So if I get numbers 1 to 96, I'm happy. Obviously I'm going to get some extras with um, buying boxes, like the special cards, but those aren't my priority. Um, I just want to get the whole set and then I'm happy. And if I can get more, that's cool. I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. This Judachi is super cute. He looks all feisty too. He's just like, I'm going to fight you. Ooh, I'm happy about that. And we still have five more packs to go, so let's just do it. Let's just do it and hope that the left side of the box conspiracy applies to this box. At this point, I'm fairly sure it's coincidence more than conspiracy, because, I mean, it is a 50-50 chance that it'll be in one side or the other. But, hey, I mean, maybe there is a thing to it. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. I feel like we all talk about it quite a bit. <laughs> Until it's completely disproven or proven one way or the other. I think it'll keep being a thing that um, all of us Japanese collectors are talking about. Crumpig! Torchic! Shoop it! Shop it! <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Electric? And this place! Three more packs! Oh, it's also um, finally rainy season here. Not finally in the good way, though, because it means that there are days like today where it's my only day off. I just worked five, no, yeah, five days, and then I get one day off, and then I work six days, and then I get another one day off. So it really sucks that it's raining today because I wanted to go outside and, hey, look at some flowers and take some pictures and maybe take Evie out for some videos or something. But nope, a typhoon is maybe showing up. Not exactly sure. The wind has been off and on, and the rain has been weirdly off and on, too. So, who knows what we're going to get. Maybe it's a typhoon, maybe not. I mean, they come every year. You kind of get used to it. Except you don't, because they're really annoying. Last pack! I don't know if we want last pack magic or not. I kind of hope not. <laughs> I prefer if the best card's in the other half, so we can get an exciting video! Because, I mean, it, it's kind of a bummer when you spoil it in the um, first half of the box. Alright, we got Grumpig, Bildum, Oracorio, Combuskin, and Kyogre. Haven't got a shiny one of this guy yet, but um, also, like I said, rainy season. So, haven't been outside walking around that much. So, for this first half of the third box, we got Celestila, uh, Swampert, not Marsh Stomp, I think, Deoxys, Kyogre, Groudon, Blaziken GX, and the card I was really looking for, the Jirachi Prism Star. He's just so cute! Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again very, very soon when we open up the left-hand side of the third box, because we know there's something good in there, and I'm excited to see what it is, and I hope you are too, and I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope it's not raining, you don't have crazy noise neighbors, and, um... Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!